dip. I'm so excited. But let's keep it together. At least until the first death. I hope your front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Hello. Malodorous Malefactor probably shouldn't have skipped that, should I? Alright, we've got the Beast, we've got the Warriors, we've got the Rotters, we've got one Pestigore. Where is his one Pestigore? Anyway. Lines over here. Oh, his is hiding behind the Beast. Ha! You trickster. Yes, smack all the rotters. Oh, really? Smack all the rotters. Okay. Well, don't mind if I do. So obviously, since we only have one Pestigore, we don't have uh, uh, another one to blitz with. So let's see. I guess this one. Yeah, we can do that. <coughs> smack everything. At least the rotters don't have regen, so that's nice. Um, so I want to three die that. If I start here, then I can three die that next. That's what it is. And then let's split him, I suppose. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Not ideal, but it'll do. Here. Riot. Well, <clears throat> unfortunately, I've got a super fast team here with lots and lots of jelly. Right. So, relative to where I was planning to go, this is not exactly ideal. Two, four, six over so we'll here. So let's go one back at least. See if we can free this one up and give him some backup. There we go. Smack the rotter right in the face. Uh, yeah, I'll follow this for now. Um, maybe I turn the animations on. Okay. But at least we got some guys out back for when, if, when stuff goes wrong. Yes, another good one. Nice. And then... Wow! Too bad that you, that people who have decay don't make new rotters. Better is better, of course, yes. So it is. Definitely better. Let's do this one. So this is a warrior, which means I need to pass a 2 plus roll to block him, but I do. Alright. Jeez. Oh wait, I do still have the animations on. Let's fix that. Cutscenes to armor breaks. There you go. I've uh, been doing a bit too much YouTube stuff. There we go. Nice to have three dice there. Uh, I will be following that. Yes, thank you. And then this one's free. To go assist over there for now. So far, so good. Uh, both of these are diagonals, neither of them are too interesting. And now this one. Yay! Not a bad round, they still... I made all my blocks and I still haven't used a reroll. Success. And... to top it all off, we've got the ball. Alright, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And smack Jessica. 
<laughs> the jersey on the beast is silly. Yeah, the beastman is the only. Is it, sorry, the the Nur beast of Nurgle is the only player on the team to actually wear a proper jersey because everyone else has their bellies exposed. Yes, puking stuffs. Yeah, let's. Look. Oh wait, I can look from the side here. That's nice. Put it put to the other side, you found. Yeah. Claws look pretty funky as well. The uh, the 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 flap that they have as their tail, uh, as their as their lower chin, it uh, uh it gets these longer spine-like protrusions. Pretty good, pretty good stuff. All right, uh, let's get rid of this view when we're actually playing. So, lock here, lock there. Where is his pests? Right there. So we're gonna assist here. Bring it down there. Over here. The beast does look a bit like an intestine or a slug. Looks like a slug to me. So this is a block, and then these three diagonals are all nice. I won't be getting three dice on them, I think. Let's start off here. Success! Alright, marginalize him, putting him there. Oh, I think I have some left over the butt swing. Aww, just a bush. So sad. So if he goes here, then he can blitz that. And then assist on a potential 3 die there. That's not bad. And some Mac just as done. Ah, good enough. Good enough. Suppose this goes pear shaped. Where do I need to be? Mm, I need to be here. Which is a decent spot anyway. <clears throat> yeah, so you can see that the, the, the 10. Uh, disturbing presence fields are not exactly clear anymore. <laughs> I mean, there's, it's clear that there's something going on. So in that sense, it's not that terrible. But three die with the beast. Three die with the beast. One of them's good. We got this. I don't really want to follow there, though. So I've actually managed to disconnect my beast from everyone. That's usually not what you want to go for. But stuns are decent. Stuns are okay. And I killed the guy. I'm happy. Yeah, the first one was a ship's cat, apparently. Yes. <laughs> I like how the uh, the arms are sometimes feet and sometimes arms. Explaining the Nurgle in a couple sentences. All right. Um, Nurgle are a disease-focused team. Uh, they are like chaos, um, uh, but at low team value, they're even worse. At high team value, they're even better. Um, what makes them special is that they've got, they're a bit more expensive than Chaos are. They've got, um, they can have up to nine positionals, uh, which have regeneration, which means that they have their own personal app that they can use multiple times per game, except it doesn't, it only works half the time. Uh, and they, the, um, beast, the Beast of Murgle as well as the Warriors have Foul Appearance and uh, Disturbing Presence. Foul Appearance means you need to roll a 2 plus to block them, and Disturbing Presence means that uh, people within 3 squares of them uh, suffer a minus 1 to passing, uh, catching, and intercepting. <clears throat> so they are a team that is able to disrupt uh, uh, others' plays more than they... Oh, yes. More than that they actually... Uh, make great plays of their own, especially early on. Later, they do uh, become more formidable, especially when it comes to uh, murdering people. Because they are chaos at heart. So let's see, I want him here. I want him there. We're going to blitz that, but if it fails, then I need to hang back a little bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah, this is still safe. Ooh! Yes, that's the sound you get when you fail to hit one. 
All right. Let's put him here then. So I'm going to follow that. Create some contact here. Now I can go there safely. Keep an eye on the turn thing. Uh, I think I want to be here. That seems nice. And there. Uh, I had a I had a YouTube video also where I was explaining some of these things. So um, <clears throat> they have access to general strength and mutation, which means that they become. Jeez, what the hell! Well, I guess so. Uh, they do have decay. So one of these two is death. But um, the chance of dying just did just become a lot bigger, I guess. It became its own square, basically. Ooh. Yeah, so if those were real players rather than rotters, then uh, I would have had two new players for my next game. Fatality. I consider it uh, a preemptive measure because uh, these guys, these guys need to be cured of their misery. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Okay. No, I thought that was a rotter right there. Should really pay more attention, I guess. Hey, Rebelka. Bye bye. Ooh, one die pals. One die pals make me angry. Wow. Really. Right, so his beast is going to jump into the cage. Well, onto the cage, which means I've got my work cut out for me. This is the kind of situation where uh, foul appearance could really, really get in your way. Also, also this stun is quite annoying because it means I might need that block before I can do this. Uh, oh, that's nice. That's very nice. So this guy's got strength 3 with horns. If I blitz, he's got strength 4. This guy adds an assist, so that makes 5. However, that's not enough. This guy could assist if the beast manages to block there, but that's not exactly a given because the beast is really stupid and it needs to roll 2+. plus. Also, it doesn't have block uh, like everyone else. So yeah, there's some risks to be had here, but I do think blitzing the beast off is the way to go. I've still got three turns after this one, so I'm not exactly in a luxurious timelines. I'm not in a luxurious position timelines. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not gonna happen. So getting past is also gonna be tough. Which means I might need to force myself in here a little bit, get connected, which is going to suck, but then these guys don't really dodge either. If this fails, I want to be here still. Okay, that's good enough, because now I've got his Pestigore, as well as his Rotter, stuck on my beast. That's nice. Uh, yeah. So now this guy assists here, so this can be my blitz. And we're loose. Beast is down, that's good. Uh... Uh, can I go? Can I go? Be so bold as to be there? Yeah, not really. Mm -hmm. I want to hedge my bets a little bit. Stay here for now. Keep him busy. Hopefully. Uh, you go around here. You go.
go around there. He's not going to be able to surf that, I think. Should be alright. <clears throat> then he goes and assists here. So that this becomes a... Oh! Is he... What? The hell? No, that was random. This is Champion Ladder, by the way. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, you know, gift horses and stuff. Oh, Butcho Skill, the Nurgle Warrior. Pretty solid. Pretty solid start. Why doesn't it show? Yes, now it shows. This was very random. Ah, uh, yes, block. All right. Uh, do we want to reroll? Do we want a pesticide? Hmm. Uh, I guess going to 12 and getting a second pesticide isn't bad. Yeah. All right, YouTube. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.